What is up everybody? Average model guy bringing it to you from the average model breezeway today. Not down in the dungeon, um, getting ready for the model show on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I didn't uh, record the rest of the build on this. Just for the simple fact, I wanted to make sure I had time to get this one particularly done for the model competition. Um, as you can see, we got her all done. I went ahead and let, left the um, hood on loose. I'm going to um, leave it on loose. I'll take it off for the competition so we can showcase the engine, probably. Um, went ahead and filled that up with rail cement. As you can see, it's still drying. Um, once it is uh, completely dry, I'll throw some probably clear coat on that to make it still look like it's wet when it's done. Uh, yeah, overall, it was a good build. I solved my seam issue. I went ahead and put some... Um, styrene tubing up there um to help that out so yep got her all done i got a couple pieces of tape on the chain drive there just to hold that it, it didn't line up good but i'm i've got some glue on there i'm gonna take care of that uh, let's see i've got a little side project i'm gonna show you guys here in a second that i was doing alongside this one all right here's our front Oh, I gotta fix the front windshield that popped out on me. Here's our side, other side. Our little gauges on there. I printed these off and cut them with my Cricut. Made these decals all myself. Got on, actually built this one on Microsoft Paint and then cut and printed it. Same with all these gauges. Made them on, with the exception of this one, I found this one online. A little Tonka sticker there. And then, uh, um, copied it and, and printed it. So yes, overall, really enjoyed this build. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, it turned out how I wanted it to. It kind of made it like an old school Tonka truck. And I'm really looking forward to see how well this one does in the competition. All right, we'll move this one back out of the way for a second. And since this was October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I was working on this one on the side. I didn't do a build video on this one, but this is my breast cancer awareness vehicle. Uh, a uh, race car, I should say, modified um, car number 8008S. <laughs> yep, uh, the hood off. I don't think I glued this. Yeah, no, I didn't. Good. Show you the engine. Zoom in a little better. There we go. Yep. This one was a quick, fun, easy build. Big one with breast cancer ribbon on the back. So I'm dedicating this one to all the breast cancer survivors. You can get in here and see. I'll have uh, pictures after this video of the build and stuff so you guys can see some of the progress and see the interior a little better on this one. Um, but yeah, I did that one for breast cancer right last month. So yeah. These two are going to go to the model competition. I'll throw up another video uh, showcasing all the ones I'm going to take to the competition Saturday. Really looking forward to it. Um, my daughter this time, unfortunately, she didn't get hers done in time. She was doing a Coca-Cola van. Um, she just got sidetracked with being a teenager. You know how it goes. So um, she won't have anything to showcase. Um, I think she might take one that she already built, her Grease Lightning car. Uh, there's a video. Um, if I remember, I'll post a card so you guys if you want to check it out to see the one that she's actually taking. We'll throw it up there. But yeah, but that'll do it for this episode, guys. So if uh, you enjoyed this video, please slap that like button for me. And if you're not a member of this channel, I'd appreciate a subscription. And uh, I will see you guys in the showcase video next.